Hi, Year 12. I just want to show you how to do a development using triangulation. And what I want to do is develop that face there and this face here by triangulation. And if you can watch someone do it, you'll learn a lot by seeing how you manipulate the set squares and the pencil. I'm just going to use an ink pen uh, so that you can see it on the video because I'm not sure whether the pencil will come out. But um, make sure that you always use an HB.5 pencil when you're doing any of your drawings in engineering studies. So the first thing that I want to do is letter and number the edges. So I've started with one up the top here. So I'll point that, I'll mark that point as two and this point here as three. And do the same on the front here, front view. When you're looking up, you'll see two before one. So two goes before one there. And this point here will be three. On the bottom, that will be B and that will be C. B goes before A. They've already lettered the seam there, lettered and numbered it. And this will be point C. And they've already given you the length of the seam so that you've got that to start. And there's the seam there, it'll be 1A. This development up the top here, I'll explain this later on. Um, this is a half development, and but I'm only going to develop two faces here because it's quite repetitive doing uh, more than one or two faces. The thing that you've got to remember is that every line on a development has to be a true length. And remember the process of figuring out whether a line is a true length. Let's have a look at this line here, three, C. You ask yourself, is that a true length? You look in the other view, just find it in the other view, and you see that it's not a point in the other view, nor is it horizontal. So therefore, that's not a true length. Let's apply that to this line here, one, two, up the top. You look in the other view, you see that it's a point in the other view. So therefore, this line here, one, two, up the top is a true length. Let's do it to B, C. You look down in the other view, you see B, C is horizontal, so therefore that's a true length. And the same with that, that's a true length too, because that's horizontal in the other view. Let's have a look at two, three here. You ask yourself, is that a true length? You look in the other view, you see that two, three is not a point, nor is it horizontal, so therefore that's not a true length. Let's find out whether two, three here is a true length here. You look in the other view, you see that it's horizontal, so therefore that's the true length. Now for these lines that aren't true length, we have to develop height lines. So if I put my compass on this line here, two, three, You've got to understand that I am getting the base length of the imaginary triangle that goes two, three up there, goes down, and then the base length of the imaginary triangle is what you get off the top view when you put your compass on there. So we have to construct height lines so that we can get a true length of the height of those points above the base and so you set your set square up on there and then you draw these lines and don't forget I'm using a pen you're not to use pens in drawing in engineering you use a pencil and then I'll come down to this line here and I'm constructing height lines, and that will be a vertical line. So that when I put my compass on 3C there, if I mark it down on this height line, I know how high 3 is above C. That's the true length 
of the height of three above C. That'll be the true length of the base length of the imaginary triangle. So from there to there will be the true length of 3C. So let's do it. By triangulation, I'm just going to go from one out here to two, and there's one, two. I ask myself, is that a true length? Look in the other view, it's a point. So I can just put my compass straight on there and use that as an arc. And then I swing an arc around there. Now I've got to go from A to two because this is why it's called triangulation because you're triangulating all the time to get these developments. So I go from A to two and A to two will be the same, but remember it's a base length. It's not a true length. You look in the other view, there's A two there. It's not a point, nor is it horizontal. So therefore A two is not a true length. So I put it on the height lines here, and then I find out how high or the distance A, a two is above A, and it's that distance there. So I can go from A to two and mark it. Now I'll just draw those in freehand so you can see. So that point there will be point two. Now I've got to go from A to B. I look here, put my compass on A to B there, look in the other view, it's a point, so therefore it's a true length. So I can just go from A out here, and that will be where B lies on that arc somewhere. Now I go from two to B, is 2B a true length? Look in the other view. It's not because it's not a point or it's not horizontal. So I go down here to the height line and then find out how the vertical height of 2 above B and that's it there. And so I can just go from 2 to B and mark B there. And so that point there will be point B. Now I go from, I want to go from two to C, oh, sorry, two to three. And so I can just put my compass on here, two to three. And I know that's a true length because two, three is horizontal in the other view. So I mark two, three, out there somewhere. And then I go from B to three. Now B three is not a true length because we've got B three, that line there is not a true length. Uh, sorry, B three, which is this line that I'm doing up here is not a true length because B3 in the other view is not a point or horizontal. So I have to use a height line here and I've got to find how high three is above B and it's that height from there to there. So I go from B to three, that will be the accurate height and that will be point three. Now B to C, I go, put my compass on here, look in the other view, it's horizontal, so that is a true length. So I can just mark that around there somewhere. I don't know where it goes. And then I've got to go from three to C because C lies somewhere along here. So I'll put my compass on 
3C. And that's not a true length because it's not a point in the other view or is it horizontal? And so mark that there. And I want to find how high 3 is above C. And there it is there. And that's the true length of 3C. So I put my compass on there. Mark it. So that is point C. And then you just join the sides. When you're joining two points, put your pencil on one point and move the rule to the other point. It's the easiest way of doing it. And this will be the development of those three sides. This line that I'm doing now is a fold line, so that's light. And so that is the development of those two sides. Now, if you have a look at this development up here, um, this is a half development. And you always show a half development or a quarter development with these symmetry lines. It's a chain line with these two symmetry lines at the end. And when you're drawing these, when you're developing these, make sure that you do a half development and then put a piece of paper underneath it so that the paper will stick out a fair way up here because you've got another half to go up there. And then get your compass and put holes through into the paper underneath and then join, get the paper out underneath, join the holes and you'll have a half development, fold it along there, mark it on the other side and then cut out the full development and then fold it so that you'll see that your development is an accurate indication of that transition piece. I hope you can understand that. And um, it's uh, something that you have to practice. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.